Hey, I'm Keith the Traveller. Traveller as an explorer, not as in Pikey, and welcome to Tasmania. Hey, I'm Keith the Traveller, and welcome to Tasmania. And right now, here I am on the island of Mona, just outside of Hobart itself. But a bit more on that later on, because it's been an absolute whirlwind of a tour of Tasmania. Absolutely loved it. So what happened is I flew into Hobart, literally the afternoon I got here, dumped my bags and sort of went for a walk. Headed over to a place called uh, Battery Point. Walking around, thought, you know what, there's bound to be some sort of gun installment, that kind of thing there totally wrong totally wrong what was it it was in fact just tons of old houses perched on a hill quite windy although quite nice to see a bit of history for australia for a change anyway what i did in tasmania is a massive tour kind of chose the main highlights over three days massive long 12 hour days but i tell you what it was absolutely fantastic we started off by uh, heading over to a national park but there'd been a bushfire so it's kind of interesting to walk through that landscape where there's just tons of burnt trees around and actually quite nice. But one of the highlights for me and one of the funniest things was actually heading over to a place called the Un Zoo. So this guy gave a talk about how the zoo didn't have any cages and it was all completely open, yet he was standing in front of some massive glass with the animals behind him. But what we was there to see was the Tasmanian Devil. And uh, loads of little different facts about the Tasmanian Devil. Not a particularly nice looking creature, made a horrible kind of whiny sound but I kind of felt for the guy because one of these devils he clearly had itchy bollocks and I related to this this noise and and, and then his reaction afterwards check this guy out <laughs> as you can tell from afterwards that sort of sigh of relief was what we all feel when we've got itchy bollocks anyway Another the Tasmanian Devil, the Unzu, there was a few things going on. Uh, we saw some feeding. I couldn't help but shout out when they were um, scrabbling for food. Oh, you devil. Yeah, anyway. And then, of course, we went on to see this uh, bird sort of show, if you would. It was called Bird to the Bush. Uh, and no, it wasn't actually a 70s uh, pornographic film. It was actually a, a display. Uh, this display, they basically got a few birds out. One of them was a parrot and they got this parrot to steal people's money and then give it back to him. And this bird was called Bossy. Of course, I couldn't help but turn around to the girl next to me and say, who's ever heard of a Bossy bird? <laughs> Here all week, thanks very much. <laughs> this Unzu place was, uh, was quite funny though. And uh, there was a few things going on as well that were just kind of like, there was animals in enclosures and birds in enclosures, so didn't get the Unzu bit. Uh, from there we kind of went over to a few lookout points but by near the end of the day when we went to this old village which had the oldest bridge in uh, Australia which was built by, I don't know, in the 1850s you kind of had enough because actually if you've been to England you've seen all that history. We did then go to uh, Port Arthur so if you don't know about your history Port Arthur was used as like a convict camp because this was Tasmania was seen as the end of the world and they sent convicts there to kind of um, do loads of roadworks and basically try and rehabilitate them. Quite an interesting place to walk around. Built around the sort of 1830s and was only in operation for about 50 years during this time. Uh, so some of these buildings were kind of like not much left of them if you would. But it's still a really interesting place to, to go around and see the uh, history of well, well basically what our English did. Excuse me. Good bit. So then day two, what did we do? We were headed over to a place called Frisnet Park. I'm hoping that's how you pronounce it, because there is a place called Wine Glass Bay. Wine Glass Bay is absolutely fantastic. It's one of these ones where you kind of climb up to about three, 400 meters, and you get a massive lookout point. And what can you can see, you can see this golden sand loop in the distance covered by forests on either side. Truly fantastic views that it offers. And then after seeing that and being rewarded that view, we went and had lunch in a place called Honeymoon Bay. Honeymoon Bay uh, was, well, it was just lovely. There was hardly anybody there. Just really clear blue seas. Great spot to have some lunch. I highly recommend you, uh, you, you go in there. As for that as well, we kind of then went on to a few other bits and places, but the following day was all about Cradle Mountain. So Cradle Mountain is about two hours out of uh, Launceston. 
um, and from there we kind of headed straight over. The weather didn't look too promising in the morning, but what is Cradle Mountain, I hear you ask? Well, essentially the main part is this thing called Dove Lake. Uh, and Dove Lake is a glacial lake that's kind of been formed and it's surrounded by mountains on, on either side. So what we did is, is well, I kind of basically took the easy route and rather than climb a mountain, not because I'm lazy, of course you understand, but uh, walked round the edge of the lake, took some snaps and it was absolutely fantastic because there wasn't too many people about and it was a really cool thing to do, just to spend a couple of hours walking around there before getting back to Hobart where I am now. So this uh, quick little bit on Mona Island because there's a um, famous museum here. This basically was opened up by a Tasmanian millionaire uh, and he calls it like the um, uh, art world of the uh, adult Disney world or something crazy like that. All the artworks here are crazy and it's known as, um, if you want to read the description, you read an app, it's all called Art Wank. So I'm not being rude, that's just generally how they describe it. Um, so that pretty much brings to an end this time in Tasmania. All I'll say is, if you ever get the chance, you've got to definitely come here. It's because it's absolutely superb. What's up next for me? Well, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag now. Uh, early February, I'm going to be heading over to New Caledonia, so watch out for that one. Until then, I'm just going to kind of chill in Sydney, take life easy. Uh, and until then, this is Keith the Traveller, signing out.